worry about how much she waits. That's like so sick. Um, also, there was one of my aunts. She told me like, oh, you look a little bit fatty now, girl. Like, I think you gained some weight. Like, and that made me really sad. And she was like, no, don't worry. Like, it looks good on you. I don't know. Um, so I was very young, I was 14, and I thought the only way I could lose weight was through not eating. So I just stopped eating, you know? And whenever I was like, my body would shiver from hunger, there's a mosquito. Sorry. So whenever I um, was shivering to death because I was so cold, I would eat something, but again, I would eat something that's so malnutritious, like something so bad, like, um, I wouldn't even have a nutritious meal, like, I was hungry, I was like, okay, I need to eat something that, like, you know, has, like, zero calories, so I would just eat cucumber, what the hell, no, actually, I'm craving cucumber right now, anyways, um, so, get a good roll, and after the audition, I was like, okay, like, I lost my weight. Like, I can eat normal now, right? Like, I'm not going to gain weight. And, like, I lost it. Like, I'm going to stay the same. No, I gained more weight. I was chubbier than I was before. And my teacher threatened me to lose my role that I got. She was like, oh, yeah, like, I, I feel like you're lacking right now. I was not lacking in dancing skills. I was just lacking in my visuals, right? So, again, I was like, holy shit, what am I going to do? So now I did research about diets. And then I came across the IU diet. I think everyone went through the IU diet at least once, right? Um, you still are lacking? You think I'm still lacking? Well, that's your opinion. Um, yeah, and I was like, the IU diet, I was like, that's what's going to help me, you know? not moving at all I was just sitting in my room and because I was not doing something physically I wouldn't get hungry that much because before that I was just binge eating also since I would spend so much time on my own I learned how to cook and also I grew like your body like in your teenage years you gain a lot of weight but that weight is like not evenly con like distributed to your body but when you grow older I think you have like more of a feminine figure and the body weight is like moving around iodide was so bad i i know it was like but i think a lot of girls like followed that so after that it was slowly losing weight slowly the fat in my body was getting to positions where it belongs to and not only my tummy or my arms obviously right now i do not have the perfect body and there is no thing such as perfect body, but what I'm trying to tell you guys is that I was unhealthy. As long as you're healthy, it doesn't matter how your body looks, how much you weight, um, but I was very unhealthy. So you try too much with the Holly Quinn accent. I haven't even watched the movie <laughs> with Holly Quinn, so that's my voice. What do you think about Asian fishers? No hate, I love you. Um, thank you so much, I love you too. But Asian fishers, if you like really talk about those girls that are like white and pretend um, to be Asian and they say, um, yeah, I'm like half Asian, like my mom is Korean or my dad is Chinese or something like that. Okay, that's like too far. Like you don't change your identity. Like be proud of what you are. Um, but I mean, I don't think that there's anything bad in being inspired by a culture, by being inspired you're, um, by, you know, a specific makeup style or by their clothes. I don't think, like, clothes are not one nationality. I just want thinner arms. You know, sometimes it's genetics, right? But I think there's some really good workouts that you can do. Your makeup is so dewy and shiny. What products do you use? Uh, today I actually didn't use any um, foundation. I just used this one right here. I think that's why my skin is glowing. And for concealer, I also didn't use 